Hey guys, welcome back to Games Mods. Um, sorry it's been a few days. Um, it's been pretty slow on this end, uh, getting stuff, but oddly enough, I did get my stuff for the hammer shot a little bit early, so that's good. Um, still working on painting it. Actually, what I'm doing is, um, so, so far I've just uh, spray painted this like burnt orange, because this is going to be my helming blaster. So, I got the short dart cylinder for black. This is going to be orange. Um, what I might try to do, I need to figure out some sort of wrap for here, either just brown leather or maybe just electric tape, um, just so that it looks better. Um, this is pretty good colored as is. Um, might touch this up a bit, but nothing really major. This, however, this gray piece, I may try to spray paint that black in here, um, just cause. Um, but today we're going to put in the metal trigger and the metal uh, priming bar up there um, and then I'll show you the body kit that I have for it. Um, so yeah. I already took out all the screws so we can just open that up right there. Here's the trigger kit and the hammer which I got from Monkey Mods. Now, there are two places that I know of, you can probably get other places too, but there are two places I know of where you can get the hammer shot um, trigger and hammer kit from, um, or sealant trigger rather, um, is Monkey Mods, of course, and then uh, Orange Mod Works. And it all depends on if you want, um, the only thing that's different, I believe, is the um, piece up here. Uh, the one at Orange Mod Works, I think I have on my other two hammer shots. Um, and they have like a little rib thing, which is nice because if you don't have uh, big enough hands, um, it gives you more of a grip. Uh, this one I believe is smooth. I wanted a smooth one for this. Um, and you can always interchange them if you really want to. They really grab these things. Is that? And if you notice, there's no uh, there's no hardware or screws or anything because you will be using the same stuff that you use in um, here. So you get your two metal pieces there, and they are metal. Well, they're aluminum, <laughs> so very very cheap metal. Um, I talked to the designer that made the cylinder and asked him if I should take out the. Um, the air restrictor, he said it probably wasn't worth it, so I'm going to leave it in. Um, he always said you might get 10 FPS more, if that. Um, but overall, you might end up damaging and everything. So I'm going to leave it as is. Um, but first, we're going to pry this. Oh, well, let's take this out. Take that out. And you all know this comes out as one whole piece. Let me get it out. Like so. There we go. Okay, now to switch the pieces out, you're going to undo these three screws here. One there. One here. One here. And they should just be able to lift this off, I believe. Now when you pull this off, just hold the trigger down. You don't need to hold it down hard. Just, you know, hold it in place. Now, <clears throat> the first part that we're going to do, and it doesn't really matter which part we do first. Um, let's see here. I'm going to take this off first. So there is a retention spring underneath this pin. I'm going to try to hold it in place as much as I can so it doesn't really go anywhere. 
We're gonna line up with the holes and the new uh, trigger if I can. I cannot see it. <laughs> Did I get it? I don't think so. Well, we'll just take it off and we'll just put it on like so. So that's through there now. And that bottom part's gonna go right there. Make sure that's in there like that. Now it's the hard part. Putting this back behind there. Your tension spring's a little off too. That's the one that came with the blaster, but we'll make it work. There we go. It's all the way through now. All right, so I'm going to leave that as is. The next part, we're going to hold this down so this isn't going to fly out. Um, pry the spring out. Take the spring off just for a second. Pull that off. Like so pull that out. Now you can re you can relube this if you really want to. Um, pretty good as is. Um, now you're gonna have to push these pistons out, which may be a little bit difficult. I'm gonna use this tool. It's always a little bit difficult and I always forget how to do it. One end is usually easier to get to than the other and I never know which end it is. Uh, actually, let me get a, was it a puncher? There we go, puncher. That should be enough. Get my little tack hammer here and let's see. Get this box brace it on. Okay, box probably isn't a good idea because it's not giving any uh, weight to it. That's not doing anything. Let's see here. Let's see if I can do this on the edge here. Just holding it down. get these pieces out one second okay guys so I got it so what I did is um, I got a different one a little bit smaller but I put the pins basically over this of the replacement and just hammered it tapped it a little bit and it came out on both sides Oop, there it is um, and then to get out you can just use some pliers if it doesn't come out all the way but mine does so that's that's a plus so this one you can get rid of. 
this one you gotta put in its place. I can get on here. Yeah, come on. Let's see, how did this go? Right in there, like so. Now line that up. Put that in. You can tap a little. It goes right back in, like so. Same thing with this one on the bottom. Pushing just a little bit with this guy. That's good enough. All right, you can put that right back into there. That pin that's in here is going to go right through this guy here, I believe. There we go. Spring is going to go right back onto there. Like so. Then once all that is said and done, you can put this piece back on. Make sure you line it up because you gotta line up four holes on this thing. It's a little ridiculous. Uh, let's see here. And once you get these ran, it should be good to go. You can always test it. There we go, it works. You don't need to snap it. I wouldn't recommend snapping unless it's inside the blaster just because it might hurt your hand. Um, put it back in the blaster like so. Like that. I think it seems good there. Put the cylinder back in. Like that. Put all the screws back in. I'm going to hold it together and just test fire it. Works very well. All right, so then the body kit. Now I'm not gonna adhere the body kit to the thing because I still have to do some painting, but I will slide it on for you to show you what it looks like. Um, and my own, I'm actually gonna have to do some body work to the body kit as well. I'm gonna have to do some uh, cutting. I'll show you where. So the main body kit, um, I got a grip for underneath and a body kit as well. I got these from AK Blaster Mod. So this part just slides onto there like that. I like this one because it comes with uh, little, three little skulls on there, if you can see that. It's pretty cool. You got your barrel, slides on just like so. And then you got your top uh, rail thing here. 
Ooh. Oh, wait. So to put that on, you're going to have to prime that so that's back. There we go. And there you go. There's the body kit. Now, my problem, not yours, but mine, uh, is going to be this grip. This grip is very nice, and I wanted to do both. In trying to do that, though, if you notice, let's see, this is going to go on this end like so. So if you notice, this overlaps that, right? So what I'm going to have to do is somehow <coughs> cut this uh, on the handle because I don't want to cut that. Um, I'm going to have to cut it so it doesn't interfere with this. Um, I'm going to have to figure out how to do that. Um, but I wanted to show you what I got for the hammer shot here. I think it's pretty cool, especially with the the black, the orange, and the uh, silver on there. Um, and uh, hopefully I get it painted in the next few days and I can show you how it works uh, once it's fully done. Um, but yeah, that's it for now, guys. Um, I'll leave the links for everything below uh, in the description. And I will see you guys in the next video. Uh, please like, follow, share, and subscribe. I'll see you guys later. Bye.